Salam and hello everybody. In this video, I share our cloakroom or downstairs toilet makeover. This was long overdue. So this is what it looked like before. As you can see, it's kind of boring. We've got a massive space just under that frame there. The main thing is I wanted to just fill it up with some nice decorative bits. And it was just really boring and I wanted to kind of bring some life to this uh, downstairs toilet. So first of all, I applied some masking tape so that it was all ready for me to paint. This is the paint that I used. So this is from B&Q. I think it was about 16 pounds and I really, really love the color. So off I go, painting away. This is actually quite therapeutic. I enjoyed this painting. So I applied two coats. I think that was more than enough. By the way, if it's quite noisy, uh, do forgive me. The kids are home and this is the only time I can find to actually record this. I think it cost just over £100 for the makeover which is not bad at all and I'm really really happy with the way it's turned out. I think the most expensive item was the flooring. So it's some vinyl flooring from B&M, £39.99 or £40 pretty much. And then the next most expensive item I think was the toilet seat or the paint, about £16-£17. But yeah, I'm definitely a fan of the colour teal and because the room's quite big, the, the toilet itself, I thought a darker colour, a deeper colour is fine because I didn't need to make it brighter like I needed to with the upstairs bathroom. I recently uploaded a makeover of the upstairs bathroom. If you haven't seen that yet, I'll definitely link it within this video. So yeah, check that out as well. So yeah, I'm still painting away. <laughs> Don't know why that's funny, but <laughs> clearly I find it really, really funny. <laughs> the windowsill had some marks on it. So I was just painting over that and that's the finished fresh painted toilet. Looks so beautiful. Mashallah. And then I think this was the following day. Akil is laying down the floor. So this is the floor from B&M. I like it. It's nice. And then I ordered this like shoe rack shelf thing from eBay. It was only $12.99 and um, yeah, really cheap. And I put loads of decorations and stuff on it. And I think it looks really good, especially for that price. Like I said, I just need something to fill the space up. And what I'm applying to the mirror now is the same thing I applied to the mirror in the upstairs bathroom. And uh, I just wanted to give the mirror a nice little border. Didn't want to actually take the mirror down and replace it because it's too much hassle. So yeah, it gave it a nice kind of frosted border. And this was from Poundland. This vinyl sheet, it's like a roll. And the hand wash dispenser and the bin, they came in a kind of set from B&M. This lovely wire basket was from Pound Stretcher, 199. I put some toilet rolls in there. So that was the toilet roll holder really 
just put that on the windowsill. These lovely, lovely frames are from Poundland, so a pound each. Got three of the black, two in gold. I think they're in silver as well, but I can't remember, or maybe white. But um, they look much more expensive than they are to my eyes anyway. This frame was from Poundland as well. And uh, these gold frames were from Poundland, and that's just an old scarf or dupatta that I had that I never wear. When you get outfits, like Asian outfits, if you're like me, you don't wear the dupatta because you have a hijab on or a different kind of scarf. But yeah, I thought I'd use them to put inside the frames. And I'm just putting the decorative bits up. I've already set the shelf up. And uh, yeah, I bought that mirror from B&M, the round one. It was only £3, really nice. So as you can see, the decorations are gold and black. And the walls are teal. And the colour combination just look really lovely. This little artificial plant was from Poundland. The gold tin kept sliding off the shelf um, that I was trying to put it up in. So I just used it on the windowsill instead. This lovely bath mat was from Asda. I think it was about six pounds. And there you have the finished result. I think it looks lovely. I love that that space in the corner is filled up. And from what it looked like before, um, definitely an improvement, mashallah. It's actually a joy to go to this toilet now. It went before. <laughs> This little light bulb thing, this is from Poundland as well. Most of the stuff, the decorative bits, Poundland, a few from B&M, Pound Stretcher. The leaf, the tropical leaf things are from B&M. Uh, Ikea, one or two things. The little baskets were from the upstairs bathroom. So yeah, definitely watch the upstairs bathroom makeover. And uh, this plant pot was from Poundland as well. The stool we had in the house already. And I really enjoyed this little makeover overall. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed watching it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. And inshallah, I'll see you really, really soon. Take care. Salam. Bye.